Hello, just good. Your Rick's here, back with another review. And today I'm reviewing a junior set. Now I don't have the box here because it's hard to get the box in the shop with um, getting the build in too. But this is a junior's uh, princess's play castle set, and it's actually a two-in-one build. So I'm going to be reviewing both builds. So stay tuned for that later. But first, we'll start with this build. It is recommended for ages four to seven. It has uh, 150 pieces. It is set number one zero six six eight. It has one minifigure. And it retails for fifteen dollars in the United States. So now let's take a look at the packaging. Okay, so here is the packaging for the set. There's actually this little flap right here which you could take off and you could only take it off if you want to open this. So it's really nice because they, what they put there was just a little piece of tape. So you just cut the tape and then it comes off easily and you don't have to damage it. So you just unflap it like that and you see all of it comes off nicely which reveals this little pink, pink tub except for the high quality sticker right here under here which is stuck on pretty well and there's the bottom like that and the top which says lego so for this little flap right here you can see the front shows all the little detail on the top it just shows some bricks and not all these bricks come in the set which is pretty funny on the back it just says easy to build and it shows what comes in the set and on the bottom it just kind of says easy to build in different languages so that's it for that and you could open it like with all tubs and this is very nostalgic to my childhood because I used to have lots of Lego tubs. And inside, you could store all your extra pieces because there's a lot of pieces in this set that do not get used or anything like that. So that's really cool. And there are two instruction booklets for both builds. There's the one for this first build or for the second build and then the one for the first build. For the first build one, uh, there's lots of cute little ads. Like there's this little mascot for these junior sets. I don't think it's the same one that's found in the friend sets because the friend sets one is a mini doll. And she just looks adorable. I want to get that face print. Um, we've gotten some face prints like that, I believe. So I got to go looking for that. But there's an advertisement for, you know, the friend sets on the back. There's actually an advertisement that says if you're good at building this, you should go to Disney Princess, which I wasn't expecting to see that because, you know, Disney Princess is a licensed theme. And they have all the junior sets right there, or some of the junior sets. And let me see what else is there. There's also this little advertisement of just like the princess playing with her kitten. And there's another artwork right here. So there's lots of cool little uh, like art and stuff like that in these instruction booklets for junior sets. And I'm not sure if there's any here. Oh yeah, there is some here, so there you go. They have some more artwork. So that's really cute. It's a very nice instruction booklet and they even show stuff for the app right here. And now on to the minifigure. Okay, so here's the minifigure of the set. It is a little princess. Um, her torso and her little triangular slope legs are not new. Uh, and she has this little brush right here in that teal color, I guess. Um, and her face is extremely common, but she does have that nice comb here. That is coming more and more common, but at one point, because it was released in 2009, it was actually pretty rare. So it is a very nice hair piece, so I always like getting that. And that's it. And she also does come with a cat, though, which is cute, and it's the one from Series 11. So nothing special there. And it's funny because in that uh, instruction booklets, it shows a white cat. And I kind of wish they did make a white cat instead of this gray cat right here because it would have made it more unique. But that's it for the cat. You can see the little legs under there and then the top detail right there. So now onto the set itself. Okay, so here is the first build. It's the princess's play castle and you get two little side builds right there. So I guess we'll start with the side builds. And that brings us to the bottom of the castle right here. And the first of the side builds is this little part for the little kitty cat. And basically what it has is just kind of a little archway detail. And some of these nice corner pieces, which we're just starting to see a lot of in this year. You take the cat out right there. And you can see there's two of them in that white color for those corner pieces. And you can see the detail right there. So that's really cool. And here's the side, the back. Then the side again, and on the top, there's this little blue jewel, which looks really nice. And so yeah, it's just a cute little build. Then for this part right here, which is kind of like a window part with a wand and I guess a perfume bottle or something, uh, there's really not much to it, but there's this bottom drawer where you put this little blue jewel. And then there's the little functioning window, which you could open and close, but you kind of have to move the perfume out of the way. So maybe it will work better if you put it 
like this and then you put the little perfume like that and like I said there's that pink wand which is pretty cute to get because the wand piece is becoming more and more common nowadays so there's lots of pieces in the set that are quite rare or becoming more and more common but still not too common also there's this little bowl piece right here which again or a plate piece I guess is the better word for it uh, this is another piece that's becoming more and more common than it was a few years ago so that's really nice too and you can kind of put the kitty cat to drink milk out of the bowl or something like that and so now onto the main build which is the play castle and you can see all together there's lots of cute little detail all over it you got the little slide on the back right there the windows the top part and the very top part which you'll get a look at later but for the bottom part uh, you can see they actually use this detailed window piece which is exclusive to the set and the window piece itself is not exclusive but the printing on it is exclusive and it basically has a little crown on there and some rim detail oh, that's white and there's the same thing on this side right here and you can see there's even some little bricks and stuff like that so you do get two in the set which is really cute and it's nice to get that because it's always nice to get like exclusive prints and such and I can't really find a use out of this set for that little printing and stuff like that but like I said it's, it's nice to get little prints and stuff and then there's this little I guess you could say drawbridge right here but it's not functioning or anything like that it's literally just like what you see is what you get um, and they're put on these little chains which are the short chains in pearl gold and they have these little domes at the end so that's cute and they have a little water detail with these circular plates on the bottom so that's all cool and all of them are on this little plate right here which there's two of them and they're the new plate piece for juniors and in this color they've come in two other sets which are the the horse set and the the police station set which i have both of those so that's really cute and then there's the big slide which i know a lot of people i think brickstar really likes this set for the slide and it's the magneta slide and it is exclusive to the set in this color which is awesome and you could kind of put the princess on there and it works just fine like you think a slide would so once you put her on the slide itself let me just put all this back so once you put her on the slide itself she will slide down which is really cute and you just kind of put her right there and there you go so she slides down perfectly and it's very nice to get that piece in that color for the set and on the top right here you can see there's this little kind of uh, castle arch and in this color it's actually come in one other set which is a play princess set from last year which wasn't really a special set I think this set is much better than that set like it's everything that set had but more and it's just five dollars more and it has like better pieces and more pieces and then there's this little side ladder right here which I don't know why they included a like a kind of gray ladder I was expecting like a pink ladder which would have been really cool but I don't really mind that because we get so many other cool pieces and piece colors in this set so if you move to the top you can see there's this little jewel in the middle right here and kind of like this archway and then there's these cool little triangular slopes in purple which are nice and this flag and these little cone pieces in this uh, uh, pearl gold color which in that color only comes in one other set which is a friend's poly bag so that's really nice and all the way at the top there's this little flag right here which is pretty cool so that is it for this set you can see all the detail right there um, and it's not really it for the set because there's actually a separate build which we'll get to right now okay so here are the builds of the second build you have kind of this little princess bedroom area which we'll take a look at second and then you have this little playground right here and for the playground you can see they use basically the pieces from the first build in fact actually they use kind of like a fraction of the pieces of the set maybe like half the pieces that come in the set because you can see those are all the pieces that they don't use for this build in particular leave a lot of pieces out of this build anyways with this little playground build there's nothing too special I would actually recommend the first build a little bit more than this but you do get this little seesaw right here which fits both the cat and the princess and it's more fit for the for kind of like the princess and the cat in particular not like regular minifigures so what you have to do is you put the cat right there then you can put the princess on that little 2x2 two two purple jumper which looks great like that so you wheel it up and down by just pushing it not like a little switch or anything like that which is a little bit disappointing but I know it's a simple build so they can't really do much with that so you can just play around by like pushing it one way or whatever you want to choose and there's this little magical wand right here which just really adds detail not really much like not anything special to that uh, right here there's a ladder 
And the ladder, it's weird because the ladder's right here and then there's this flag. So like if you're climbing up the ladder, the flag will kind of block the way. So I found that really kind of a weird design choice and I'll probably modify it if I did keep this build, which I'm probably not, and putting it like right here. And for the slide, it kind of has the same feature on what you think a slide would. You put the minifigure right there and then they slide down. So that's actually really cool. It uses those nice new plate pieces for juniors uh, in that very nice green color, which is the same way they use it in the castle build. And you do get two of these two by two gold little tiles right here, pearl gold tiles, which look pretty cool. And on the back, there's not much detail or anything like that. Uh, but these are supposed to be not very detailed, but just very easy to build and like quick to build uh, because you know they're aimed towards very young kids. So in that sense, it really is just fine. So that's it for the playground itself. And now we're on to the bedroom. In the bedroom, it's just a whole bunch of separate pieces, and I really don't like that about this. I wish it was a little bit more connected, because I don't like it when they have builds that are all separate pieces. That's another reason why I think the first build is much better than the second build. It's all one coherent piece, and then, like, I think it's one separate piece. And you can see right here, they have a little plot or pot for the plant, which uses this kind of, uh, I think it's a, a, a cylinder. It's kind of like a, a triangular cylinder piece right here in pearl gold, which looks great. And then there's this little table right here, which uses that nice plate piece and kind of that bright orange color um, with the new dome piece in pearl gold, which is the most common color you can get that dome piece in. And that's a very basic and blocky build. And then there's this very, very basic, again, uh, bed right here. And, you know, it's basic because it's a junior's build, so I, I don't blame it or anything like that. But you can't really, like make the actual princess fit on there because you know she doesn't have like the hind leg parts so she kind of just has to lay down like that um, so she's very prone to falling off which you guys can see but for the build itself there's nothing on the bottom there's this little jewel part on the top with this little um, one by two pearl gold jumper and they use a few tiles right there in the plate so yeah very nothing special or anything like that and then there's this window right here which you would open and close in pearl gold there's this little gem and these side little side dome pieces, which are nice. They're like the half a dome. I think they're the half circle pieces. I'm not entirely sure what they're called, but you can see it's a very nice piece and it's nice to get those in that color because they're becoming more and more common and there's a front. So that's really it for the build itself. And now on to the final verdict. Overall, this set is really impressive for the pieces alone. Sure, the builds aren't really the best and you know, it is a junior set, so you can't expect too much of a detailed build. But this first build is actually really cute and I do like that. There's a lot of stuff to play with in that little castle with the slide and the opening little windows and stuff like that. Uh, but the second build I think is really weak. But it is a two-in-one build so I can't really pick on that because it's a two-in-one build. So there's, if one build is weaker than the other, at least you're having two builds. And for the playability, I mean alone you could rebuild the set into the other one. So that's very nice. And the pieces, like I said, there's so many rare pieces in this set, like these little nose cone pieces right here in that pearl gold color. This new printed wall piece that's exclusive to the set, and you get two of them there. The Magneta slide, which is exclusive to this set. Uh, there's, what else is there? There's these little, I think they're called bow pieces or something like that, or bow pieces in this pink color, which are ex or not exclusive to the set, but they appear in only a few other sets. And this little castle part in this pink color, which is uh, only appears in one other set. So there's so many rare pieces in the set and the price per piece ratio is surprisingly really good for a junior set. You get 150 pieces for $15. So that is crazy good. So I will have to rate this set a B plus. I know I'm giving a lot of these junior sets a B plus, but they really are strong. I think this one succeeds in the pieces a little bit more than the builds alone, even though the build, first build isn't too bad. And the princess minifigure is really the only disappointing part because she's not very interesting and her pieces or not exclusive or anything like that. But it's nice that you get the cat too, which is a little add-on. So yeah, I really like this set. It's a nice storage unit too, with the little tub we get here, and you get lots of extra pieces if you don't build like another one and stuff like that. So yeah, it's really fun to play with, and I definitely recommend this set if you're into getting like exclusive pieces and stuff like that. So that's it for this review, and I will see you guys later.